Let's go over a deleted scene for Star Wars The Last Jedi. This is Mike Zero here once again. If you guys are new here to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. So as you all know, the Blu-ray edition of the movie is set for release on March 27th of 2018. It's getting closer, and with that Blu-ray edition, we will have a handful of deleted scenes, some of which sadly won't make it to the disc and will stay over in studio. Now, one of the deleted scenes that we learned of is, of course, the sea monster going up against Rey. It's a confrontation. Now, this actually takes place just after the second Force Bond sequence between between both Kylo Ren and Rey, when that force bond breaks off and they get disconnected essentially, this is when Rey is underneath the Millennium Falcon in the rain. Now, originally a sea monster was supposed to actually emerge out of the water and have a little confrontation between Rey and the monster itself. Now, the reason why they actually got rid of that whole entire concept, and honestly, if you ask me, it would have been pretty cool, is because it was 100% CGI. There were no practical effects for this at all whatsoever because of how massive the creature was going to be. Now, though the thing here is that this scene was never 100% completed. It was actually a unfinished scene where the CGI was kind of like, you know, where it's like it doesn't have all the renders completed and it looks a little off. They actually had that for that scene and they decided to put it in the can and stuck with the sea monster appearing earlier in the film. Do you guys remember this? I don't know if you guys saw this, but you notice it especially in IMAX. Now when you go ahead and see this movie when Rey is following Luke up that hill, there is a front shot of Rey using her staff as, you know, like a uh, like a hiking tool here to like keep herself balanced. She's using that to go up the hill and in the back, all the way in the background, you do get to see the tail of the sea monster quickly come out of the water and go back under. They decided to insert just that one little quick glimpse of the sea monster because that CGI being all the way over there in the background and passing through really fast was more believable than having a sea monster emerge out of the water and having this little confrontation with Rey. Other than that, we really don't know if she was going to fight the sea monster per se. We heard about that months ago that she would to some way, to some degree. However, I just don't know how it would have worked. Now, if it were to be 100% CGI, creating a monster that big, it may have felt out of place for the crew. So, given that they actually took that concept, put it in the can, and said, hey, let's just add his tail coming out of the water and going back into the water behind Rey in the background, makes it more believable. Now, I didn't notice it the first time. The second time I saw this movie is when I actually saw that. So, the next time you guys see the movie, on um, Blu-ray. Definitely do keep an eye out in the begin beginning of the movie when she's following Luke. You will see that sea monster in the background. And it's not the Thala Siren. The, the Thala Sirens are those, you know, those, uh, those those like long necked looking things that Luke Skywalker milks <laughs> at the at the coast of the island, those weren't the sea monsters. This sea monster that you do see in back of Rey is a completely different creature. So guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, no.